Jim Holly, Supercross Live on SupercrossOnline.com here at the joint at the award ceremony. Andrew Short, an up and down season for you, but to finish off seventh, not a bad way to wrap it up. Yeah, it was chaos from the beginning, uh, riding three three different bikes. Uh, finishing seventh isn't that bad. Uh, looking back, you always want a little more as a racer, but went through a lot this season and uh, happy to end up safe and had some good races along the way. It's pretty cool. I mean, the award ceremony, this is kind of relaxed. Everyone's dressed up. They have a chance to kind of mingle and talk to different people. And But you guys still got an outdoor series to go to. Yeah, it feels like you just flip a switch, you know, as soon as that last that last race is over, your mindset kind of switches over to outdoors and from setup to racing and there isn't much of a break. So you, your mind is definitely an overload, but also a sense of relief knowing that you get a, a fresh piece of paper to start off with. Um, you know, going outdoors. Is it too early to tell if, if you're going to be back with the uh, BTO Sports uh, KTM ride next year? Yeah, it's too early, but I'm very thankful that I was able to continue racing with them. Uh, it was a great to ride with BTO Sports KTM this year, a great group of people, and, um, you know, it, they gave me an awesome opportunity. So I love racing, always will. Uh, the Supercross Series was an amazing thing this year, and uh, hopefully I can be a part of it next year. Did you get a chance? I know you were getting ready for your main event, but did you get a chance to watch that East-West shootout? I know you're a former winner of that race. Uh, that was a pretty good race last night. Yeah, not so much the shootout because I was on the starting line, but I definitely watched the, the main events, the East and the West. I was really happy for Kenny. And uh, the East, there was a lot of drama as well, but it was cool to see it. Those guys, those kids, they, they ride their hearts out, and it's great to see that and where the sport's headed in that direction. There's a lot of young uh, growth and development happening and they're going to be serious contenders in the next few years.